Hi guys, Carl here from ElitePromoter.com and in this video we're going to be looking at Adplexity. Adplexity is a spy tool for native ad campaigns and it takes data from a total of seven different ad platforms. These include affiliate friendly networks such as RevContent, Content Ad, MGID and Adblade and also premium ad networks such as Taboola, Yahoo Gemini and Outbrain. So Adplex acts as a database which basically tracks historic data of live ad campaigns and it offers some really powerful filters to help you spot winning campaigns. The great thing with Adplexity, it even allows you to download landing pages used by other affiliates so that you can edit these and use them for your own campaigns. So let's dive right in and we'll take a look at how this all works and the best practices when using it. So this is the main Adplexity overview and what we can see here is our native adverts that Adplexity has spied and we've got some powerful filters on the left hand side and above. Let's take a look at how to set the filters up so that we get the right results here. The first thing that I do is I select newest up here. We've got a choice of newest, running longest and receive most traffic. Newest is going to show the freshest creatives that Adplexity has, has found. So I start with that and in the filter here on the left hand side we can select this and I think by default this is set at 30 days but just to make sure we'll click here and one last thing to do here is set the amount of days running which is how long the ad's been running concurrently so if you set this at 10 days for instance it's going to pick up any advert that's been running in the last 30 days for a minimum of 10 days sorted by newest first so this is a really good way to to set this up and what you're looking for here is you can see you've got this hit section so 376 hits that's how many times Adplexity has spied this running on on domains now Adplexity for, for each traffic source if I just scroll down just down here you can see that it spies on rev content MGID Taboola Outbrain content ad Yahoo Gemini and Adblade so I'm going to select rev content first Now, Adplexity hasn't got the entire inventory of, of rev content. There's thousands and thousands of domains, but it will spy on a good selection of the top domains. So it's quite a good indication of, of how popular this creative is. What we're looking for is, is high hits. So we can see this, this one here, 274 hits. Now, 100 freaky spots around the world, that's unlikely to be an affiliate offer. A lot of people use native advertising for na native arbitrage which is where they buy traffic in cheap and they'll place a gallery on on the particular landing page let's have a look at this I can show you exactly what I mean so if I just click through to the landing page here so this is it's a, a viral type site so we've got the hundred scariest places on earth and as it loads up it uses a gallery so there'll be well there'll be a hundred a hundred images on this particular gallery and every time that we click next a new set of adverts are served up now every time an advert served up to someone this particular publisher is going to get paid a few cents or depending on, on what it is they're doing they could they could get paid more it depends how they want to monetize it so as an affiliate these sort of sites aren't really of much interest to us so if we head back to Adplexity what we can do is in the device uh, sorry in the filter on the left hand side we can scroll down and within tracking tool we can click choose more select all and we can deselect none and this will force Adplexity to show us results that have got some tracking information within the redirects of, of the uh, between the creative, the landing page and the offer. And these redirects will have some information such as a volume tracking link or Thrive or Imobi tracks. These are all uh, different tracking solutions that affiliates use. So if we look at the results again now, we'll see that these, these are more likely to be affiliate offers. So if we have a look at hits again, have a quick scroll through these. Um, we can see there's there's one here 560 hits. This is a, a French 
uh, advert, I'm not exactly sure. Um, it looks like a casino offer. So let's have a look at some more. We've got quite a few different languages here. And what we can do is if we set this as English in the language side, we can probably spot something here that we can take a look at. Okay, so this one here, this has had 389 hits. It's been running in three geos, Australia, Canada, and the Czech Republic. So we'll have a look at this. So this is a, a weight loss offer. And if we click on the uh, expand button there, we can save that creative to use in our own campaigns if we wish. And what we want to look at is where it's been running the most. So Czech Republic is, is been seen the highest. The device types, so we've got a real mixture here, so he's targeting all devices, and how long it's been running. You've also got the ad trend, so you can see how long it's been running on here as well. Now sometimes you'll look into an, an advert and you'll see that it's been running really, really well uh, previously, but in the last few days it's it's dropped off, and that's a good indicator that the that the campaign's died out. So this one looks pretty strong. So how do we find out what this is and, and what the landing page is? If we click on show more here, we can have a look at the redirect chain. And in the bottom, this is the this is the final URL. So flatbellyovernight.com. Now this is an offer that's available with software projects. And software projects is um, an affiliate network that just specializes in ebooks which is similar to uh, Clickbank that's probably their their biggest competitor and it's a great place to um, to send traffic to because a lot of their offers are video sales uh, landers which convert really really well so let's have a look how he set this up if we click on this plus icon here we can see that this is the landing page that he's using now this is um, a teaser landing page so the traffic networks such as rev content and content ad don't allow you to direct link to the offer unless the offer's got advertisement at the top now not many not many affiliate offers have got that so the way around it is to is to send traffic to a pre-lander which is what this is and make sure that you've got advertorial in in big letters so this land is not not a great one but if the affiliate offer's got a real strong landing page, such as a video sales letter, you only really need to get visitors to, to land on there to, to get a good chance of converting them. There's no point having a real long landing page. If you've got a video sales lander on the offer, you're best just, just sending it directly to that. So as I said, this is a teaser lander. If you wanted this lander for yourself, you can just click download this landing page. You'll need to edit it in a HTML editor, or you could use Notepad and you need to be stripping out the, the campaign URL within the HTML and put your own own link in there. I mean, I use volume personally, so I'd be putting a volume click URL um, in there. And one thing to bear in mind while we talk about this subject is some affiliate landing pages have got backdoors in there that will steal traffic. So if anybody copies it, the anybody that clicks through a percentage of those will be going through to that particular affiliates offer rather than yours so it's, you, you really need to check the JavaScript in there if you're not a developer or you've not got much HTML experience you, you really need to be careful replace any JavaScript libraries with official ones from Google and I'll probably do a, a, a video on this at some stage which will explain exactly what to look for so yeah all we do is click on download the landing page and we've got more ads by this advertiser so if we click that so these are all the creatives that this this advertiser has used same thing applies we can use the filters and if I set 10 days running here it'll repopulate this part and we can see that he's run weight loss mainly here um, this one's 193 hits that's the the creative that we saw just just a minute ago so you could you could um, use a few of these creatives yourself and start a campaign with those to see if this has actually got any promise so you could use the same landing page and the same creatives and just to test the water if it's any good then you could improve on the creatives improve on the landing page you could split test different offers in there
other things that we can look at is the filters up here. We've got by keyword. You can search Adplexity's inventory. I'll just set the filters back up here so they've disappeared. We can search for certain niches. So we could put casino and we could select in ad, in ad info, which will just search within the uh, headline of the creatives. So we're getting tons of casino ones here. And for weight loss, I suppose we could we could type fat in there. And we're given plenty of inspiration here for weight loss adverts. And one other filter that's worth checking out is the advertiser filter. Now we can actually search for parts of a domain. If you know if, if there's some someone that you want to keep an eye on, a competitor, and you they always use the same domain. Uh, for all their landing pages. You could enter their domain in here or if you know their affiliate code, if they're using volume, part of their affiliate code, you could put that in here and then you just use the, the drop down on the left hand side to search in the redirect chain or the outgoing Earl if it's an offer or just all of the above. That's definitely worth checking out. Buy Publisher doesn't work for me today. I've just tried this earlier on and having no joy with it. So, But that would allow you to enter the name of the of the domain where the ad units are served so you could see any other advertisers just running on that that particular that particular domain one other thing that's worth checking out is this save search section so if there's a particular search that you that you perform every day let's say you look at desktop in the United States that's been running for 10 days you could save that and then every time you come into Adplexity just simply load it up that's a really really big time saver so that pretty much concludes this tutorial for Adplexity. It's a really good tool. I'd be lost without it, in fairness. It's a little bit expensive. It's $249 per month. But again, if you're running native, um, it's, it's well worth the money. It's not going to take long to get that back. So really, really recommend it. The only other tools that are worth looking at would be AdBeat, which I think is, is a lot more expensive than, than Adplexity. So if you're just looking for a native spy tool, this one definitely gets my, my top recommendation. So just leads me to say, if you're not a member of Elite Promoter already, please do consider joining us. We discuss the best methods for traffic generation in a profitable way. We all want to see ROI on, on our efforts. And we look at things such as native advertising, SEO, Facebook advertising, Pinterest, you name it. We've, we've got it covered. It'd be really great to see you there. So thanks again for watching and again I really look forward to your comments.